Hello and thank you for watching this tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about importing GPS coordinates in place of actual street addresses. There are a few reasons why you might want to import GPS coordinates instead of street addresses. In some cases you may receive data from your supplier that gives you only coordinates instead of addresses. In other cases you may work in an industry where your locations are not actual addresses but merely points on a map. Take for instance the cell phone industry. Your cell phone towers would not have addresses, but may only be able to be located by their GPS coordinates. In my spreadsheet, I have three examples of how MyRoute Online can accept your GPS coordinates. In the first example, you can see that my coordinates are in two columns. I'll always have the latitude in the first column and the longitude in the second. By the way, when you export your results from MyRoute Online to an Excel spreadsheet, the coordinates of your addresses will be listed in that format as well. So I'm going to import my local file. And as you can see, because the columns in my spreadsheet were labeled latitude and longitude, the import wizard has picked up these labels and set the headers accordingly. If you don't have column labels in your spreadsheet, simply click the drop down arrow and select the column label from the list. When the coordinates are imported into my route online, our program is going to try to find the closest address to those GPS coordinates and put that address in the list. Another way of importing GPS coordinates is to have them in the same column but separated by a comma. The third way of importing GPS coordinates is to enclose them in square brackets. The square brackets are the two keys on your keyboard that are to the right of the letter P. The reason you might wish to enclose your coordinates in square brackets is if you want my route online to place a point on the map in the exact position of those coordinates without trying to find the closest address. Again, imagine cell phone towers along a highway or electrical poles out in the wilderness. As you can see, MyRoute Online places markers on the map in the exact location of the coordinates and shows those coordinates in the address list. Now I merely proceed as normal and plan my route. If you have any questions about using GPS coordinates that were not answered in this video, please email us at support at myrouteonline.com. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing my route online.